Hi, this is Valerie from WaterPress, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing appointment booking and its main features and capabilities. The plugin is geared to quick and easy online bookings for any appointment-based business like beauty, health, sports, education, or similar industries. Let's see how you can customize the plugin to suit your needs with a quick walkthrough. After installing and activating the plugin, you should navigate to Appointments, Settings. Since it is important to configure all the general settings before using the plugin to ensure it will work correctly for your business model. The first thing we should determine is the default time step. This setting allows us to edit length for the time slot step, and it determines the time slot step in which your appointments can be scheduled. For example, if you select 10 minutes, as the default time slot step, then the working hours will be divided by 10 minutes of time slots. So your clients will be offered to book appointments at 9, 9, 10, 9, 20, 9, 30, and so on, booking after every 10 minutes gap. With the confirmation mode setting, you can set the default status for all newly created appointments. Three options are available uh, with or without an online payment. Uh, to set a compulsory terms and conditions checkbox that must be selected at checkout, you'll have to create a page with the needed content and then select it in this drop down menu. And if you don't want your customers to jump through hoops, multi-booking is one of those features that improves the scheduling journey, so we recommend enabling it. Moreover, by activating coupons, you can allow your clients to book services at a discount to increase their engagement even more. The plugin also lets you add a cancellation link to the customer's email so that clients can cancel their bookings in a few clicks. Just tick this box. Uh, you also need two system web pages, booking cancellation page with a cancel booking button and booking canceled page with a final confirmation for the client that cancellation is successful. So you don't uh, necessarily need to create the pages on your own, you can go with the automatically edit ones, and for the defaults, simply leave the pages unselected and the plugin will do the job. If you have repeat customers who make regular bookings, then you can provide them with the option of creating a customer account. Just choose the option that suits your needs best. Leave the decision up to the customer. All clients can get the account automatically by scheduling an appointment. And if most of your bookings come from a single country, in such cases, it's a good idea to set a default country. Just as importantly, our plugin supports a wide range of currencies and their display options. That's all. With the general settings, we can click the Save Changes button. And the next step is emails, and these are the templates of the emails that are sent to the admin and customers. It's possible to tweak the content and style of them. Uh, oh, let's say you want to send automated reminders or other notifications before or after the appointment. We took care of it too. Additionally, you can go one step further with the Twilio SMS extension and send SMS notifications for appointment confirmation, cancellation, payment completion, or any marketing messages or alerts before or after the appointment. Going on with the basic confirmation settings, the plugin allows you to add unlimited staff members and 
further assign different services and locations to them, upload a featured image, specify a phone number that will be used for sending SMS notifications. Optionally, you can even connect each employee to their Google Calendar. On top of that, the appointment booking plugin offers two custom WordPress user roles, appointment manager and appointment employee. You need to assign the employee's email address to their profile right here, and employees will get their site login details by email, and they will use this email to log in, where they'll see bookings services associated only with them. If you operate in different locations or, for example, different rooms of one establishment, you can add more than one location. You can add categories and images to all your locations too. The appointment booking plugin is equipped with numerous features to help you bend the working schedules of your employees. To be more precise, the plugin's functionalities allow assigning individual schedules to employees, set lunch times and breaks for your employees, add days off and non-regular working days and hours. Now let's navigate to services. For each service, you can apply custom settings like service price, any custom service duration, depending on a time step, buffer times before and after the service as well. Additionally, you might want to set a minimum period before the appointment when customers can submit a booking request. And here, you can also set the minimum and maximum number of persons for one booking. Don't forget to tick this box if you want the base service price to be multiplied by the number of people for one appointment. What's more, you can even choose the color for each service to tell them apart in your backend booking calendar. And the main condition is to assign the employees uh, who will perform this service. On top of that, it's possible to add variation to the price, duration, minimum, and maximum capacity for each employee. Also, this is where you can configure the deposit settings and add some notification notes. Furthermore, you can add different categories to your services. Clients will have opportunity to choose the category when placing a booking. You can add tags and upload an image too. So, how do you add the booking wizard to your WordPress website? It's a matter of one simple shortcode. And you're free to go to shortcodes and create a shortcode for your booking form and other widgets. Otherwise, the plugin supports native blocks for the block editor, DV and Elementor. And there are also uh, dedicated widgets for featuring your team members, uh, designing lists of services and locations and more. The booking flow will work like this. The user chooses a service category, service, location, and employee, or only a service, picks a date from the calendar and the available time slot. Appointment booking shows time based on the time zone of the users who are scheduling the flow, so the plugin correctly adjusts appointment times. And once you select the date and time slot, the booking gets added to a cart. And here you'll see the Add More Services button. Click on it if you want to schedule more appointments. Users can repeat these steps multiple times and add one by one as many services as they need. If you change your mind, it's possible to remove this service from the list. So, we are ready to proceed to the checkout. At this stage, users fill out personal client information if they are not logged in 
like me. If they are, then all these fields are pre-populated, except for booking notes. You can add them as well. I'm also ticking the box to create an account. And next, we are showing a price breakdown and what your client will see below the, break, uh, the breakdown depends on the booking confirmation mode you set in the settings. I have chosen confirmation upon payment. Our scheduler plugin allows clients to choose to pay on site, uh, direct bank transfer, payments can be collected via PayPal and Stripe as well. And Stripe in its turn allows us to also accept payments via bank contact, ideal, uh, GiroPay, uh, SEPA, direct debit, and so forth, as well as Apple Pay, Google Pay, and Link. There are two more options available with appointment bookings add-ons, and I'll show them a little bit later in this video. Now, finally, we push the reserve button. An email notification is sent to the customer and administrator with the appointment details. To see all your bookings, go to the bookings menu. Here you'll be able to manually add new reservations and edit existing bookings. Your backend booking calendar is one more helping tool to monitor and control what's happening in your business. In the payments menu, you can view statuses, payment transactions, payment methods, as well as edit this info. And to go deeper with analytics becomes possible with our Google Analytics for appointment booking add-on. It's a real helping hand in measuring the number of bookings made, tracking the most viewed uh, services, and definitely gaining insights into customer activity and behavior, and the most important, monitoring convergence. As I promised, now I'm going to be showing you more assets for taking payments on your site. So far, we offer two add-ons, and these are WooCommerce Payments and Square Payments. With the Appointment Booking WooCommerce Payments add-on, you can integrate all major payment methods to your site in minutes and have access to 80 plus global payment gateways in your service booking widget. Or, for instance, you can take your appointment booking to the next level with Square integration. At the moment, the initial release supports payments via credit cards, and customers can also use gift cards by Square. Furthermore, we have created a collection of appointment booking themes, so I strongly recommend you to check them out to choose the one that will meet your needs. Last but not least, we provide the appointment booking users with detailed tutorials on each of the features I mentioned in this video. So don't need to worry about any difficulties. That's why do check out the show notes down below for some timestamps and useful links. Thank you for watching, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about new videos and see you in the next one. Bye bye.